Ricky, could you afford 24 hours in El Paso? I don't know. What would I do with them? Spend a day that you'll never forget. That's all? That's a lot. A day to remember for the rest of our lives. Are you considering it? I'm considering Ricky. What do you mean? I'm just considering what happens to Ricky after that beautiful day. There isn't any after for people like us, Ricky. We're a special kind of breed. We were born when the clock stopped. No yesterdays, no tomorrows. Make hay while the sun shines, as your aunt would say, huh? What's happened to you? When you followed me on this train, easy come, easy go like, and I asked you the reason, you gave me a very good one. We both had larceny in common. We still have. Good. I'd be embarrassed to find that you were an honest woman. I'm embarrassed to find I'm a woman. I don't want to bother you, Mr. Connors, but... Something new has been added. Why, Miss Woodner? I'm sure it's just a passing fancy. It could be. Ricky, look. There's a place I found once years ago. An old Spanish inn, like something out of a fairy tale. Palm trees, walls dripping with bougainvillea. Patios with fountains and hummingbirds. And a name to make poems out of. The Inn of the Four Winds. What do you say, Ricky? You're very dangerous for me, Mr. Connors. To the Inn of the Four Winds? Pretty sure you can just walk away from this, aren't you? You might change, too. To the Inn of the Four Winds? any sense I get out now. You can take it or not. It's up to you. But I've got a hunch you'll take it. Listen, wise guy. 